everyone, happy Tuesday. Today's story is The Very Noisy Boxes. In a very noisy house, in a very noisy city, lived three noisy foxes. Wouldn't it be nice to be quiet sometimes? Asked box number one. Perhaps we should move to the countryside, suggested box number two. What a good idea, replied fox number three. So they packed up all their very noisy things and caught the very noisy bus to find a place to live in the very quiet countryside. In a very quiet room, in the very quiet countryside, they met an owl. from the very noisy city looking for a quiet place to live replied fox number one where do you live owl i live up here at the top of this very tall quiet tree the owl said oh yes it is very quiet but it is too high for us said fox number one we're scared Next, in a very quiet meadow, in the very quiet countryside, the noisy foxes met a mole who popped up out of the ground. Hello, mole! We are from the noisy city, looking for a quiet place to live. Can you help us? asked fox number two. Oh, yes, I live in a very quiet place, replied the mole. Follow me and I'll show you. I live here, in this very quiet hole underground, said the mole. Oh, yes, it is very quiet, but it's too dark for us, said fox number two. We can't see. And I'm stuck! <laughs> in a very quiet clearing, in the very quiet countryside, the noisy foxes met a frog. Rabbit, rabbit! What do you three noisy foxes want? The frog asked. We are looking for a quiet place to live, said fox number three. Where do you live, frog? Rabbit, rabbit, come with me and I'll show you, replied the frog. I live in this very quiet pond, said the frog. Oh yes, it is very quiet, but it's too wet for us, said fox number three, and we can't swim. So the three noisy foxes kept searching for a very, very, very long time. And they ended up in the very quietest part of the countryside, a long, long way from the very noisy city. As they ventured along the very quiet path, they met a badger. Hello, badger. We're looking for a quiet place to live, said the noisy foxes. Can you help us? We have looked everywhere. Yes, of course! Follow me! replied the badger. This is where I live, said the badger. It is the quietest place in all the countryside. Oh yes, it is very quiet and very lovely. It might just be the perfect place, said the noisy foxes. But it's just too quiet. The noisy foxes were here. They were really fed up with being quiet, so they started to make some noise. As they banged and clanged and tittered and chattered, a quiet little mouse scurried up to them. What is all this noise about? asked the quiet little mouse. We need a place to live, but it can't be too high, it can't be too dark, it can't be too wet, and it definitely can't be too quiet. I know the perfect place, squeaked the mouse. Follow me. Little mouse, this really is the perfect 